hello beautiful people welcome back to my channel it's your girl lizzy please subscribe and share if you're just tuning in for the first time and for returning subscribers i really love you all so much thank you all for your continuous support so today i'll be showing you how to tie another trending gilly video i do hope that you love this video and if this video helps you in any way don't be shy to share and thumbs me up and subscribe i love you all so much so the first step i took was to fold the edges of my gilly that step is very important please guys don't miss it and then the next step i took was to make about four pleats before placing this ghillie on my head so after placing the ghillie on your head make sure that you trace the pleats towards the back of your neck and just make sure also that the pleats are really nice and neatly done so i'm just going to take this ghillie the two hands of the ghillie across each other at the back of my neck and bring them towards the front so the rule for this particular ghillie is 50 50. after bringing my ghillie towards the front i'm just going to make sure that the other hand of my ghillie i hold it with my neck so that the whole ghillie does not unravel So at this point right now, I'm going to start making my fan. I'm going to be using my both hands to make my fan. One hand has to pick the plates while the other hand holds the plate so that it doesn't unravel. trending gilly tutorial it's actually a trending gilly and you you find it on so many persons right now and it's not difficult at all if you take your time and follow the steps that i am giving you right now it's really going to be easy to be able to know how to make this gilly on yourself and even on your clients your customers or anybody at all When making your pleats, guys, make sure that you trace this pleats towards the other side of your neck so that it doesn't unravel. So right now, I'm done with making my fan. I'm just going to take my ghillie towards the back and twist it. I'm going to twist the part that is left and then pin it at the back. So I prefer to use long pins when I'm tying ghillie on myself. There are these very long pins that helps you to hold the ghillie. It makes the ghillie really, really secured. So these are the kind of pins I love to use when I'm tying my ghillie. So I'm going to do the same process that I did on the other hand, on the other side of my ghillie with this particular hand right now. So while doing the second hand, make sure that you take the second hand towards the back of the first one, which you did. So I was kind of missing my pleats there, so I'm just going to go over and do it again. So I'm done making my pleats right now. I'm going to twist my ghillie, the part that is left, take it towards the back and pin it. Make sure that your ghillie is firm on your head so that when you're dancing, 
for any party at all it doesn't unravel so the rest of it is just me adjusting my ghillie so that it's comfortable on my head and then i'm good to go i love you all so much if this video has helped you in any way don't be shy to thumbs me up don't be shy to subscribe thank you all for watching and here is what the back of the ghillie should look like it should look like that thank you all for watching and i'm going to see you all in my next video which will be next week bye bye i love you all so much